Hello and welcome to the first edition of uh, instructional videos for older people and people who don't know how to do stuff. On tonight's program, we're going to be talking about uh, hooking up your cable modem. And here we go with part one. For everyone else, this is wireless internet access along with your modem of choice, whether it be DSL or cable, as in our case. You can see that the coaxial cable comes from the wall just like a normal cable for your television, but here we plug it into the back of the cable modem provided to us by the ISP, Internet Service Provider. It also has two other ports, but right now we're just making sure that it's, it's all hooked up and ready to go. This is our wireless router. It also has a bunch of ports. Usually there will be an antenna here. It's built in on this model, but most of the time it will be sticking up. That's the best way to know the difference between the two. So, in this one, we make sure it's hooked up. Take the power out, because you don't need that on yet. And then we get our first Ethernet cable. Ethernet cable looks a lot like a phone cord. The difference is, it's fatter. So if you try to fit, put it in the phone, cord in the wall, it's not going to fit. That's how you know. So this goes in the back of the router, or I'm sorry, the cable modem, there's a port and it should say something like Ethernet or Internet. Either way, it's the big one. <laughs> <laughs> so stick your one end in, like so, and the other end is going to go in the back of the wireless router. Where it will go is probably right there. It says internet. It's not one of the numbers. It's the main one. It may say WAN, but either way, it's the most important port in the front, in the beginning. Part two, hooking up your wireless router. So we start back again with our coaxial cable hooked into our cable modem, where the internet comes from the wall into your home. We also have the Ethernet cable hooked into the Ethernet port of your cable modem on one side and the other side of the Ethernet cord, this lovely tan thing here, is hooked up to the back of your wireless router, which would normally have an antenna. It's hooked up to the first port, which in my router says Internet. Your router may say something different, but we know most of the time it's in the very first position of the router. So it's not part of this numbered area here. It's in the first position, the most important. This is how the internet gets into this wireless router. So now we have these two hooked up. The next part is how to hook up your desktop computer whilst having your wireless router hooked up. In this case, we hook up the, another ethernet cable to the back of your desktop computer into the ethernet port. So one side is already put into my computer, and the other side, I take the cable and put no, it in. Hold on one second. Are there several holes in the back of your computer for Ethernet ports? In the back of your computer, there will be several ports. They will look confusing. But again, the Ethernet cable is different from a telephone cable in that it's fatter. It's wider, and you cannot fit it into a normal telephone cable hole. Okay. So this will be different. It'll be a little bit thicker. So put it in the special Ethernet port. Oftentimes, the Ethernet port in the back of your own desktop computer will have a little light, a little LED that will go on and stay on once it's hooked up. If it doesn't, you just need to know <laughs> it's fatter. <laughs> okay. The other side, you're going to put into one of these numbers. If you want to be awesome and put it into number one, go right ahead. But any of these four, these are designated for your peripherals that are also going to be hooked up to the internet. They're going to be wired to the internet as opposed to wireless. So in our case, because it's easy, we'll just put it into number four. Hooking up your wireless router, part three. So here we are again. One ethernet cable is hooked up to the back of your cable modem or your DSL modem right here. The coaxial cable in this instance is hooked up as well nice and tight and the other side is into the wall where the cable comes out. The tan coaxial cord, is the same as you'd use in your television. Right. Right. For your cable television. And the other tan cord goes from this ethernet port into this internet port on the back of your wireless router. The other ethernet cable is in one of the numbers 
that's for peripheral de devices, and the other side of it is in the back of your PC desktop computer. So now what we're going to do is hook up the power so we can put these babies on. It's a toughie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so in this case, you just find the right power cable and put it into the back where it's supposed to go. Good. Set that guy on. There we go. It's starting to boot up here. Take the other power cable that goes to the wireless router and stick that into the back. Oh yeah. The DS Very important. DC. There's only one hole that that can fit in as That's well. That's right. And look. So this time it's got power. The lights are going to start powering on. Most important is first the modem because that's where the internet comes from the wall into your house. So first this starts cycling and then I'm going to press the on button and then now we have this one starting. So these different ones will be different depending on your modem. Basically you just want them all to go green and start flashing. 